Hey DIYers, this is George on Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how to clear tamper on a wired and wireless system. Now for, day, for today's demonstration, I'm going to have a 6160 RF keypad that's wired to a Vista panel. And I'm going to have Honeywell's latest Lear controller, which is an all-in-one wireless self-contained system. So the 6160 is to a wired panel. The Lear is a complete wireless system. Now, I'm going to be going over how to clear a tamper. First thing I want to touch base on is a tamper and a fault. A fault just means that that door or that sensor or that zone has been tripped. So if it's a, if it's a front door, back door, window, that just means that that window or door is open. If it's a glass break, that means that the glass break sensor has detected a glass glass breaking so that's just a fault fault is what's actually making that zone go off and trip uh, a tamper is completely different than a fault a tamper has to do with the sensor itself typically a tamper has to be with the uh, the, the actual cover of the sensor so if you have let's say for today's demonstration I'm going to be using a 5800 mini this is a wireless sensor Yes, now, as you can see right now, it should be, both systems should be ready to arm. I have the sensor learned into both panels. Now, when I move the magnet away from the sensor, it should say fault. On the wired panel, I have this programmed into zone nine. On the Lyric controller, I have it programmed into zone three. So if we look at the Lyric, it'll say not ready to arm. If we go to zones, It'll show us what zone is faulted, which is zone three, the front door. So I'll just go to the home. And if you look at the wired keypad, the armed light or the ready light is not on, which means that it's not ready to arm, usually meaning that there's a fault. So if you hit star, it actually says hit star for faults. Once you hit star, it'll start. If there's more than one fault, it'll go through every fault there is. For this one, it's zone nine. Remember, I said I had it programmed to zone nine on this one. When I reconnect the magnet to the sensor, it should go into ready to arm. There's no more faults. The Lyric also goes into ready to arm. Now, like I said, that's just going to be a fault. I was looking for a screwdriver because I'm going to set off a tamper environment now, right? So when I grab this mini, a way to fault it, like I said, is if you take the cover tamper off. So you guys can see, I stick the flathead right in the little crease here. I'm going to twist it. It should just come right off. Both systems will immediately start going into a tamper because it's detected that someone has tampered with the sensor. First thing I want to do to clear it off the Vista panel, enter in my master code, or sorry, you have to fix the tamper first, so you have to make sure the cover is correctly snapped on. Then I'm going to clear it. One, two, three, four, one. One more. One, two, three, four, one. That's cleared on the Vista panel wired. Lyric panel now. If you go ahead and go to security. See, it says tamper front door three. Now, even though we fixed the issue, we haven't cleared it from the panel yet. So we need to do that. So we fixed the issue. So we put the cover back on the sensor. Now we need to disarm the system two times in order for it to go back into a ready to arm. We're going to go to zones. There will be a clear troubles. Once you hit that, it'll ask you for your master code. You enter in one, two, three, four. You need to do that twice, remember? One, two, three, four. And now the tamper has cleared from the Lyric screen. If you hit the home button, it should bring you back into ready to arm. Now, again, just for some clarification, we set off the tamper. It made both systems immediately go off. In order to clear the tamper, you have to fix the issue first, which in this case would be make sure that the cover is correctly snapped onto the base of the sensor. After you fix the issue, you then have to disarm two times. The reason it does not automatically clear, clear from the panel is so that let's say you're away from home, someone takes the cover tamper off and then puts it back on. 
If that message were to disappear immediately, that means you would never know because you were never home. So the, the message will stay on the screen until an authorized, authorized user code has disarmed the system two times. This basically ensuring that you see that someone had tampered with the sensor. Guys, if you found this video helpful, hit the like. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, make sure to enable notifications. That way, anytime we upload any new content, you guys are notified. Also, if you have any further questions, please feel free to email us at support at alarmgrid.com. Again, my name was George. Thank you guys very much, and have a great day.